Welcome, I'm Aloxav, and in today's video I'm gonna talk about the survival tent and the drone that I'm using right now. Two very useful tools that we can craft and get pretty early in the game, and I'm gonna show you how. The first thing, the survival tent, which is basically a respawning point and where you can actually sleep to spend time. You can open up the survival constructor and you need 10 plant fibers for the survival tent. So there are two good ways to get plant fibers, which is just collecting these little bushes. Or you can use the survival tool in resource mode. You just right click and left click on resource mode and you can gather these small trees to get plant fiber. I still don't have enough, so let's collect another one. And now I can do my survival tent. My survival tent is done, and I'm gonna put it in my toolbar. I found a nice little spot where I might start a little base, so I'm gonna put it down. You cannot put the survival tent on blocks on your base, but you can put it on the floor. So now the drone. It basically it comes with you, you don't have to craft it or find it. And you have infinite amount of drones, because the enemy will target them, destroy them, but you can always spawn another one. And this is very useful, because you can actually use tools with it. I'm going to show you, for example, I'm going to choose resource mode, and I'm going to harvest this tree all the way from there, using the drone. The drone has no inventory, it's my inventory. So as you can see, the logs went straight into my inventory. Of course here it's not the best situation, it's just to exemplify what you can actually do. But let's say you actually want to dig into the ground. I found this iron deposit and I can just mine it myself using resource mode. I can just dig into the ground. But without a jetpack, since I don't have a suit, you can see how it could be very easy to actually get stuck in there and it would take a little longer to actually build another hole to get out. But for this, you can also use the drone. You can just mine the drone into the ground. Not only that, it has a little flashlight which allows you to see a little bit better. Because if I go myself, since I don't have a suit, I don't really have a flashlight. And if I use mine, I can't really dig. So it's pretty a little dark. Right now it's actually not too much, but there's another advantage of using the drone, which is it has a little flashlight. You just have to be careful because there could be enemies around. Another cool feature about the drone is that you can actually use it to harvest. For example, I have a dead alien there, and if it's too far away or for some reason I can't go there myself, or for safety reasons, you can actually use the drone to harvest the meat from the aliens. So you can also use it to harvest wreckages and buildings, to salvage, so it's a very useful tool. Not only that, you can also use it to scour the area around you. But be mindful that it does have a limit of about 50 meters, so once you reach that limit, it will give you a warning, and then it will disappear. But you have infinite drones, so you can just spawn in a new one. The button to use it by default is F5, but you can change the key bindings in the settings. If you go to the options controls, you can go all the way down and you find the place for the drone. Where is it? Right here. Play a drone. By default, it's on F5. I usually use it on Z because it's just helpful for me. So in case you want to change it, that's a pretty simple way too. You just press escape. You click this little gear here. You go to controls and you find the key bindings over there. So be mindful that the drone will be very useful, but sometimes it's easy to forget about them. So it can be useful not only in the beginning, in different situations, but also in mid-game and later game. So that's a pretty cool thing. And the survival tent. I actually didn't pick it up, but we can pick it up and use it somewhere else as a respawning point. So I will continue with this tutorial on the next video with a new subject. So for now, thank you for watching and until next time.